Welcome back to Hangar 207 in the Garage Baja Edition, Part 4. Today we're going to pack one of the bearings for the trailing guards. We're going to install the bearing, the retainer clip. We're going to put the bushings in the trailing arm, and hopefully we have enough time to install this trailing arm. That's something I haven't done before, so that should be a good learning curve. I try to keep these videos down about 15 minutes, and I'm hoping I have enough time. If I don't have enough time, installing training arms will be the next video. But, uh, time to get to it. We're going to grease up the axle bearing. See if we can get that installed to see how that is. Everybody has their way of doing stuff. Mine's a little different than the way other people do it. A lot of people wear gloves because they don't want to get grease on their hands, but I'm not too worried about grease. Rather than I tell you guys put grease gloves on. What I do is I take the grease and I put it in the palm of my hand like that. Then I take the bearing like this. When you slap it against your hand, you're forcing the grease in between the rollers. This center piece of the bearing comes out of this bearing. Okay, see that's got grease in there pretty good. Put grease back in the can for now. the excess grease off your hands but you're still going to get grease on it so it don't really matter. Okay there's that. Now I gotta get ready to put the grease in or put the bearing in. I get things moved out of the way get the camera moved and start it up again. Okay I got the bearing all greased up. Here's the center piece of the bearing. That will go in there, but it goes on afterwards, or basically when the axle goes on. I'll show you how that works in a little bit. Move this around like that. Now, I've never done this this way before. So if it don't work, we're going to find out together that it's not working. Now... There's a big controversy of which way these berries go in. What I do is the side where there's writing on the berry, I leave that up. Out to the outside. That's the way I do it. Said so just because I do it that way doesn't mean it's the right way. off here because I got to tap it with a hammer. circles try to stay even we use a ball pig hammer too a lot of people use like plastic cap hammers you know stuff like that which is fine but ball pig hammer you just don't want to hit the middle hit the rollers you just 
there. After that, you get a socket that's big enough. Hear that sound? Different sound? That means it's seated. You double check it, but. Yep, it's seated good. You just stick your finger behind there, just because there's a ledge in there, which I should have showed you. There's a ledge in there, it goes down, it hits against that ledge. So that's it, that's in. Here's a C-clip. Let's see if I move the camera any when I start banging on it. Oh, you're still in the center of the frame. You C-clip, or a retainer clip, or whatever they call it. They got five main days for them. Squeeze it together. Run down there and get in that groove. Might go up like that. If you're going to do any kind of jobs like this, you need to get yourself a good set of C-clip pliers. They got different sizes for, you can change the tips, and then you got tips that are at angles, 90 degree angles. This is, I got it set now for, goes the outside, but if you got something around a shaft the inside, then it goes the other way. Now I'm going to take a screwdriver, I'll take a screwdriver, just make sure it's in there good, which it is. Okay. Here's the center piece of the bearing. Now, there's really no reason for me to put this in there yet. It's just going to fall out when I install this. Because I'm not going to put the bearings in or anything on the other side of the axle. Because I did that here because it's really hard to do it while it's on the buggy. The rest is really easy to put. Other bearings are really easy to put in. This is the bearing that was difficult to get in. So I put it in like this. And... Uh, then the center piece will go in, but there's a you know other pieces gotta go on this side coming back, and I'll show those when I get to it. And uh, but uh, I'm gonna show how to put these. In. Well, I got the bushings up here to change, so we're gonna do that. But this is gonna go in a little bit later. Here are the new bushings that goes in the end of the axle. In here. Take a little bit of grease, put on the outside of this. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever really done a lot of this. I mean, the buggy's not difficult. But anyway, I mean, the BW is a very simple design, but, you know, you just fit something in there 50 years. Well, this is almost, this is almost, this is, well, this year is its 50th anniversary. Because this is a 73. So. So, it's, uh, you know, a lot of stuff's hard to get apart. 
I didn't video removing the uh, trailing arms off of this one because I showed you the video removing the trailing arms off of the, uh, the frame I had. I think I move this to a more solid part of the bench. It's a learning curve. That sure wasn't done right. I'm gonna try to do it in a place where it stays. Uh... There she be. Those new bushes are cheap too. It's like $23, I think I paid for those for, for both sides. Well, that's one swing arm. This trailing arm is now ready to install. We have our new bushings in and we put in one bearing. And the only reason why I put in one bearing is because that bearing had to be pounded in. And uh, it's, it, it takes some work to get it in there. Now the other berries kind of slip in pretty easy. The axle goes in, and then there's a backing plate for the brakes or a disc brake hub or biff brake, whichever I'm putting on right now. Eventually it'll be disc brakes. But that would make the, the trailing arm a lot heavier, a lot harder to install. So we just install the one bearing, put the clip in, and then I put it on the Baja, and then I'll install the rest of the bearings and then the, what I'm going to do with the brakes at that time. So it's ready to go in. Let's get to it. That's the hard part is getting past that. Well, that's tight. I had to take a punch and hit there and knock that in.
Use that on a solid saw. These bolts are rusted, just old and wore out. So I'll get some new ones and put some new ones in there. Try to fix up the, the rusty. I hope it does. That's it. One trailing arm installed. Uh, for a recap, we packed the bearing, got it installed, got the bushings installed, and got the trailing arm installed. I can tell that the video wasn't great. I'm having a hard time figuring out what to do with the camera, how to set the camera, and not be in the way of the camera. And there's not a lot of space there, so it's a little difficult. But hopefully I get better as we go along, and I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, any feedback? As I appreciate you can leave a comment. I've actually got a couple emails uh, for the few comments of suggestions of what to do with the video. I appreciate that. Um, but anyways, the next video five will be me putting the bearing, the rest of the bearings in, put the axle in, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue and put the brakes on then or what I'm gonna do. But I would like to make the brakes one video on its own. But we'll see as time goes on. Sometimes it's a spur of the moment thing. But uh, thanks for watching. Hanker 207 in the garage. Baja edition.